Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from WindowsObserver.com. Welcome to this episode of Tips and Tricks and Things. In this uh, video, we're going to talk a little bit about mouse and keyboard navigation on the Windows 8 start screen or the Metro interface to the upcoming Windows 8 release. I want to start off by showing you the, the hot spots on the screen. Uh, they're very similar to what are on the desktop in the previous video we did, but we'll go over them again because they are critical to a lot of navigation uh, using your mouse and keyboard. So we're going to start up in the top left corner. As you can see, the icon pops up. That is our desktop. If we click there, we go to desktop, and we come back down to the bottom and click to get the start screen back. Now, if we go down to the bottom left, we get the desktop icon again, top and bottom. So that tells us that that's available. These are part of the app switcher bar, and if you've got multiple applications open, you can cycle through all of them just by left clicking. Over on the right hand side is the charms bar. As you can see, it comes up transparent when you first get up into the top right or bottom right corner, and then when you bring your mouse out from the corner over top of it, it darkens in and you can see all the options. So that's your charms bar. Um, the uh, if you right click anywhere in the open areas of the star screen, not on top of a live tile, you will get this context menu of sorts that indicates all apps. If you click on all apps, you now can see shortcuts, shortcuts for every application and every program that is installed and available on Windows 8. And you can right click on these and it brings up their context menu and you can, if it's pinned to the start screen, you can unpin it. You can choose to uninstall it here. If it's not on the start screen, you can right click. Let me find one that's not on my start screen. Uh, there you go, you get more options here. You get unpin from the start screen, uninstall it, open it in a new window, run it as an administrator, or open up the file location on the hard drive where that program is. And then you got to right click on top of it in order to get out of that. So uh, that's, that's how you look at all apps and how you can add more apps to your start screen. If we go back out by hitting the escape button, we'll get back to the uh, start screen. And if you want to uh, select tiles here, you do the same thing. You hover over top and you right click. And you will get the context menu again down here at the bottom with several options such as unpin from start, unpin it from the task bar, and that's in the desktop version, uninstall, open a new window, run as administrator, open file location. You can also select multiple tiles without any other keyboard options. Just right click and you will select multiple tiles and you see what happens is you, you can unpin them all from start but if they're there obviously they're on the start screen or you can clear so by clicking on this one you would remove them all by clicking on this one we give everything back to normal uh, you only get the the app specific context menu when you click on it by itself as soon as you click on another one you get either unpin it or clear it alright so we'll get rid of that let's show you semantic zoom now in touch mode for semantic zoom you would pinch or use two fingers to draw them together on this screen and it would bring up the the overall view of your start screen menus well in touch mode down here in the lower right hand corner you can see a small icon that's got a magnifying glass and four tiles well by clicking on that this is semantic zoom and what it does is it gives us a, an overview of everything we've got uh, pinned to the start screen and as you see I've organized these into groups now from this screen I can grab an entire group and move it to anywhere I want it to be let it go and that's where it will stay uh, the other option you have is you right click on a group you get the context menu down here below to name the group and you bring up this dialog and you just name it what you want it to be choose name and as you, we leave you will see that that program group is now called main programs. Alright, so that's semantic zoom. That is how you organize your tiles by group. Now if you want to organize individual tiles with the mouse and keyboard, you simply left click to grab and select the tile and then start dragging. And as you can see, you can see how things move around as you try to place it. And I want to point out this bar right there. As you can see that bar, that's a start new group basically. So if I was to drop it right there, it would begin its own group and then I could go back to semantic zoom and I could select that and I could name that, let's call it Windows Store, name it and now back here out at the main menu it's called Windows Store although you see it doesn't fit because of the width of the tile. 
or I can drag it back down here the group is removed and the icons back in place where I wanted it to be alright so so that is semantic zoom and how you organize and rename groups of programs not the individual tiles and then of course we just saw how you can drag and move tiles in between different groups and start new groups now up here in the top right corner is your user icon it's got your pick if you associate it with your Windows Live ID or now your Microsoft account it will have your first name last name and your picture well if you if you let left click on that tile not right click you'll get three options to either change your account picture to lock this to lock the computer or to sign out of your account on the computer all right but we're not going to do either any of those right now but I just wanted to show you that shortcut all right so let's talk a little bit about some keyboard shortcuts and oh if you've got a mouse if if you don't have a mouse on your or I'm sorry if you don't have a wheel on your mouse and you come down here to the bottom as you can see you get this scroll bar that you can click on it just like in Internet Explorer or any other window you can drag it side to side and it shows you from front to back your different tiles alright the other option is if you have a wheel on your mouse you can roll your wheel up and down and it will scan back and forth across the start screen so it makes it pretty easy to move around using your mouse or click and drag alright so now let's talk about a few keyboard shortcuts in the Windows uh, the Windows 8 start screen Metro interface the first one I want to show you is the is just the Windows key by itself I press it once it takes me out to the desktop I press it again it brings me back to the start screen so the Windows key in and of itself will simply flip you back and forth between desktop and start screen now if you do Windows C and some of these shortcuts are going to be very similar to the same ones on the desktop Windows C brings up the charms bar on the right hand side of the screen alright we'll get out of that and then Windows Q brings up that listing of all apps and you're ready to search inside of apps to look for a certain program now from the start screen you can also just start typing and search will automatically come up and I'll show you what that looks like um, if you if you just start typing Windows update you see there's no apps called Windows update but there are five settings and it includes Windows updates and then of course it searches your file and then you can uh, limit your search into any one of the apps that are available uh, in the Windows Store that you have installed and as you can see I just use my mouse to roll up and down that list or you can click and drag the sidebar uh, to access those alright so let's go back to the start screen alright the next one I want to show you is Windows H and Windows H simply brings up your share uh, bar and if you have any programs that's able to share something so let me let me do this again by selecting something and bringing up the share bar Windows H now you can see I can share a link to music via mail uh, through the share bar so that's how that's how you access that Windows K Windows K brings up your devices bar so if you have a second screen plugged in you can access that or or use it to access the second screen or any other devices that would be interactive here that you would be able to access would appear here um, I'm guessing that is incomplete because we're still in the kind of beta consumer preview version of things Windows I brings up your settings now on the charms bar you know Windows I brings this up directly but if you're using the charms bar from Windows C you would have to click on the settings icon to get that same thing see Windows I will take you straight there and then you, this is also where you access the power setting to turn your computer off or restart and things like that Windows W brings up search right inside of settings so if you're specifically looking for something in settings Windows W takes you straight in there and now when I type in Windows update let me spell it correctly Windows update you see I get the results that I click down through alright so we'll go out of that and get back to the start screen Windows F takes you one lower and puts you in files so now I can search all the files on my computer for something in a certain for a certain thing um, alright now within apps so let me open up an app here I'm gonna open up the photo app and when you're inside of a photo app you have a couple of keyboard options in order to 
uh, access additional features within the app itself. And the first one I want to show you is Windows Z. And that's the, you see the bar that came up here across the bottom. There's not much here to interact with. There's simply a feedback button. But if you, this uh, program had any abilities, let's, let's pull up a picture. Let's do this. Let's pull up this picture here and we'll do Win Z. Now you can see I've got more options on the context menu. I can put this as part of a slideshow. There's the feedback button. I can delete the picture. I can set it as my lock screen or I can set it as a tile for the photo tile. So this picture is what would always appear. Otherwise it's random and it shows random pictures and things like that. So we'll go, that's your Windows Z. And then of course when you're in an app, if you right click with the mouse, you also get that same bar. So you can either do Windows Z or you can right click your mouse and you get the context menu. The other uh, one everyone should be familiar with if you've ever messed around with anybody before and told them that to hit Alt F4 to take care of an issue, well Alt F4 closes the app. All right. Now within, tut, within the keyboard and mouse, you can also reach up here at the top and you see the little hand, click, drag down to the bottom of the screen and let go. That also closes the app. All right, a couple other really handy little keyboard shortcuts that I want to show you as we get ready to uh, finish up here. The first one is Windows and Tab. I know you know I got to open up a couple of uh, apps. Hang on just a minute because it won't work properly if I don't have other apps. There it is. So Windows Tab brings up the ability to switch between apps. All right. And then the other one is Windows and print screen. And you see the, the screen kind of dimmed a bit there. Let me show you what happened. Because if I go to my photos and I go into my pictures library, let me find it. I think I'm looking in the wrong place. Let me find it from my desktop. It'll be easier. Here is uh, in my pictures directory. I've now got a screenshot that is a picture of what I took a screenshot of. So there you go. So with Windows print screen, it automatically takes a picture of whatever's on your screen and it dumps it into your pictures directory and calls the shot um, screenshot.png. So that's how easy it is to be able to take uh, screenshots within Windows 8 as well and it's much easier than trying to use the snipping tool because the snipping tool does not work as effectively within the Metro desktop or the Metro interface as it does on the desktop side. So there's a brief overview of several keyboard and mouse shortcuts and how to navigate the Windows 8 Metro interface and the start screen with your keyboard and mouse. Until next time, stay safe on the net.